What's up everybody, it's your boy Skips here with another video for you guys here today and what we are going to be talking about is the Dragon Guard and Neo series once again. There was a story that came out a couple of days ago that I didn't know about and it was translated over from Famitsu through Niche Gamer. So we're going to go ahead and go through this article as quickly as possible with my opinions on it and let's get into it. So now we're going to be quoting Niche Gamer. A new interview with Yoko has surfaced via Famitsu from the SE a summit which goes down in Singapore which happened earlier this month when asked if he make a movie based on the game he said that while he's thought about it it'll require money so he liked to find somebody with the cash to green light it so when asked about the new Dragon Guard title he pointed to Square Enix producer Yosuke Saito who gave Yoko the green light and the budget for Nier Automata and saying basically if he gives the money for the project he'll make the next Dragon Guard game whenever so basically Yoko is saying for all the Dragon Dragon Guard fans out there, he's saying basically when Square Enix, specifically Yosuke Saito, the producer over there, Square Enix gives him the green light and the budget to do the next Dragon Guard game, whether that's a remake of the first one or a brand new title, which is like Dragon Guard 4, he'll go ahead and do it. So that's pretty good for us fans over here waiting for a new game in the Dragon Guard universe. Yoko was naturally asked for the next Nier game, which he joked saying that he think about the sequel everybody wants and then make something that is not that game. He said he keeps thinking that he's going to ruin it. So basically, what he's saying is, he, he's thinking about the next new sequel and thinking about how many new people are into the series now. And basically, the best thing to do was to make a direct sequel to Neo Automata. And basically, he says, I'm probably not going to do that. I'm just going to make something that I want, not necessarily what anybody else wants. And then he says he thinks if he ends up doing that, he's going to end up ruining the game because many new people probably won't like it, most likely. I think that's what he's referring to. Because the fandom has grown exponentially with the release and success of the Automata. So a lot of people are probably just wanting to continue the adventures with Yorha on the planet. But then again, a lot of people who have been with this series since the beginning know that most likely you're not going to get a direct sequel. And you're definitely not going to get any of the characters from Near Automata except for maybe like a side character or two in the next near title. Moving on was into the article, Famitsu noted that Yoko's work in video games, books, and even stage plays, to which they asked what kind of media he would like to work on next. His answer probably won't surprise you as he said that he liked to make an adult video, or the Japanese way of referring to pornography. He said it is something that he liked to make at least once in his life. So I don't know, maybe he could connect that to Dragon Guard, because if you do not know, Dragon Guard's main character Zero, if you read some of her stuff uh, and a lot of her background, you would know that Zero actually used to be a prostitute before she was an intoner. So, I don't know. Technically, he could... <laughs> make some type of canon story if he wanted to direct adult video and connect it to the Dragon Guard slash Nier series. Just being honest here, he could do something there, but probably a joke, but knowing Yoko, it, it might, it very well might not be a joke at the same time. Lastly, Yoko was asked whether or not he or his team looked into the marketing for different target demographics, to which he recalled the original Nier having two deliberate versions, one with a more effeminate protagonist for Japan and more with more macho protagonist for the West. He said that he was told Macho was more like. In Western countries, especially America, yet the game didn't sell well at all. Fans told him that they like Macho characters, but not in Square Enix game. The game sold okay in Japan, so they designed Neo Automata with the goal of at least selling in Japan. He also admitted that he didn't study foreign markets at all, so when the game turned out to be a big hit worldwide, they had no idea how it sold that well. So a little bit of insight as to why Nier has two different main characters within Near Replicant and Near Gestalt. For some reason, when they did market research, a lot of people say they like more macho characters in the West, which I can see them saying that. So with that being said, they decided to turn it into a father and daughter story over here in the West with us getting father near. And in the East, in Japan, they got the story of a brother and sister with brother near. So that's pretty interesting to say. That's pretty cool in my opinion. But with that also being said, it's kind of funny that when they really don't research the foreign markets at all, they tend to do better just with this 
success in Nier Automata. So with that being said, I think that's enough for him to just work on making what he wants and not really trying to study the markets too much. I'm saying obviously taking a worldwide perspective on his projects and all that because the best way to make your project better and to make it sell the best is to listen to a wide varying opinion but at the end of the day as a creator he should also stick to his vision because when you try to please everybody you end up pleasing nobody which is a motto I try to live by. So maybe that's something for him to look onwards into the future maybe not try to please the west and japan and maybe just make a story with one character focus on that character and just try to make it as best as possible and people will catch on to it people will love to play it read about it and learn about it and buy the games so with that being said that's a really good article and a really good interview from Famitsu so with that being said we learned a couple of things Yoko is actually Yoko has some interest in making a movie maybe connecting to Dragon Guard and Nier so if somebody gives him the money for that he'll be willing to do it also that he is willing to make another Dragon Guard if Yo Yosuke Saito wants to give him the budget to do it he'll do it and with Nier he didn't necessarily say he wants to make another Nier game but basically he said that every time he thinks about making a sequel and what people most most likely want from a sequel he's gonna make something that's not anywhere near that and probably ruin the game for a lot of people basically saying it might not be exactly what people want from the near series because again I mentioned a lot of people are new to the series so most likely a lot of them would like a direct sequel somehow but most likely that's not gonna happen and lastly talking about the marketing of how he did market research into the west and the east for near replicant and just all and how it sold pretty bad overall but with when he didn't do any for market research with Neo Automata it sold extremely well. Just a lot of interesting things going on in this article. I wish him all the success in the future. I'm glad to hear that he has interest in making another Dragon Guard game. I'm glad to know that he still wants to make games and pretty interesting that he wants to get into movies and also has an interest in making adult video. So with that being said, let me know your opinions on this article down below. Let me know, give it a like as always, put, turn on notifications because you know YouTube doesn't want you to see these videos. It has been your boy Skips, I will see you all in the next one and I am out.